Happy Monday. How are we doing? I hope everyone's well. We are back with more Dark Knights of Poe and Monroe. Maybe we'll get through, there's three chapters left. We're halfway through the game. Maybe we'll get through like two more. Maybe we'll do the whole back half, all three. We'll see as we get there. Um, but yes, let's just get right into it, you know. Uh, last time we learned Monroe was a lesbian. Um, and they got a kid murdered. That about sums it up. TikTok is with us now. I will say, this game, its music is pretty good. I enjoyed the soundtrack. Dark Knights. With Poe and Monroe. Everybody changes. Maybe we should have a safe word. If you're oh. worried. Oh. I'm worried I won't like it. Then we should definitely have one. What do you think, Miss Baratsky? It's Madame. I'm sorry, what? Madame Baratsky. You must feel relaxed. So if a safe word would help, then... Okay. What should it be? Clown. Thanks, Raspy. Raspy? Already, this is... This is... It's how he talks. Already, this is off the cuff Places, entirely. And Anyone has any explanations three, for this game? Please two, let me know. Welcome back. As promised, listeners, we have a special treat for you tonight. Madame Baratsky is a past life regression therapist who claims to have helped hundreds of clients discover their previous selves. We are still not talking about how they got someone murdered. Cold War spies. Welcome, Madame Baratsky. Thank you for having me. And of course, it wouldn't be our show without my better and more beautiful half. Say hello, Monroe. Hello, Monroe. They're still very unclear on Monroe what Paul Monroe's relationship is. To be put to sleep because, like, this evening. you make it sound like they they've said that Poe has a family, but then up. also, aren't you? Monroe and Poe can have a thing, but then Monroe is very comfortable flirting with other people. So, remind me again why you couldn't do it, Poe. Dodgy knee. In just a moment, Madame Baratsky will put Monroe into a trance. I prefer hypnotic state. Into a hypnotic state. And we'll ask her to describe what she sees. Later on, we'll be taking your calls. Have you lived before? Do you remember any past lives? Or is it all just a money-making racket? <clears throat> Let us know, Monroe. You it's have a mystery show, Poe. You kind of got to lean into it. Already. Let's hope you and not sass your guests. Yes. Madame Baratsky, take it away. Now, Miss Monroe, please relax. Close your eyes and focus on the sound of my voice. Listen to nothing else but my voice. Madame Baratsky has started the regression process. He's just doing yoga. Focus on your arms. Feel how heavy they are. Feel them sink into the chair. Now, one trend and with this game has been that like a very much like oh things aren't what they seem the so Monroe's probably gonna start like you know experiencing past lives sorry I had an itchy nose suddenly it won't work if you fidget I'm sorry I'll be still let's start again 
into my voice and nothing else. Can I just keep having Monroe fidget if I just <laughs> never do it? Focus on your arms. Feel how heavy they are. Feel them sink into the chest and pull you into the deep, deep dark. Let the darkness consume you. Let the darkness consume you. Do I just leave it? I think I gotta leave it. Oh no. Okay. It won't work if you fit. Okay. How many times can we have her <laughs> fail? So I do have to click on the arm. Into my voice and nothing else. Let's just keep fidgeting forever. Focus Never let her do her thing. Feel how heavy they are. Feel them sink into the chest. And pull you into the deep, deep dark. Let the darkness consume you. There's a lot of cutting back to Poe. Okay, we do gotta click the arm. Good. She is fully relaxed and suggestible. Now you have crossed into a suggestible. life. Suggestible. Mm. Do you remember who you are? Yes. Monroe says she can remember a previous life. Shh. Do not rush. Let the world come to you. Let it reveal itself to you. Mine like a glass. Let the world envelop you. Step into the world and become your former self. T. Oh, we're controlling her now. It's never really clear who we're controlling at any given moment. Oh, got a blast! If you zip through the stars, you'll find candy bars. Hey, look, it's them getting murdered in the background. Oh, there's a question mark. I'm Elizabeth. That's what you were going to ask, isn't it? Mm hmm? Yes. Being right. It's a gift and a burden. Where's Dr. Decker? Who? Oh. He's gone sailing. Weird. I've been coming here for months, and I don't really know anything about him. Hmm. What did he tell you about me? Uh, he killed some. I'm not violent. I don't know why you'd think that. Let's play a game, Doctor. I'm the doctor here. I should come up with the games. But yeah. We're already playing. No, we're not. You think of something, then I'll get it. You're thinking Breaking about lines. waves. Like the ocean. Wow. Don't say anything. I mean... You haven't said anything since you arrived. Do you believe me now? That I can read your mind? Good. Hmm. You believe me? I'll lean into it. Right about See where this goes. Now. Something happened at work. How do you the lose them, Elizabeth? I can't switch it off. 
As soon as I lock eyes with a person, I get their thoughts. It's like tuning a radio. If I look at someone, I hear their thoughts. Anyway, there's this guy who walks in with a suit. It's got a stain on the trousers near the zipper. And all he's thinking when he drops them off is, Sharon can't pick these up, Sharon can't pick these up. So he starts screaming at me that he needs the hour service or he'll have me fired. So I call the manager. I guess Sharon, who doesn't want to pick them up, is his wife or girlfriend? Either way, he clearly doesn't want her to see the stain. But Sharon is also the name of my manager. I call Sharon over anyway. Mm -hmm. Sharon! Sharon! This guy's face is a picture, but he's holding it together. Sharon comes over preoccupied. She's thinking about the washing machines. She is the manager, so she normally does that, but this time was different. What was it different? She was thinking about Nisha. Spinning away in one of them. The dry cleaning machines are big. You can fit someone in quite easily. You could probably fit a small person into a normal washing machine, actually, if they really tried. Anyway, the store manager here is shouting and comes over. The customer, and let's call him Ed, says that we shouldn't be advertising something we can't deliver. Says he's a lawyer and he'll sue us. The store manager, whose name I intentionally forget, says he'll sort it out. Sharon, in the meantime, has gone ashen. I lock onto Sharon's eyes, and I see it again. Nisha, spinning away in a machine. At this point, I'm guessing Sharon has a fantasy about killing her? Ed finally gives in, throws his suit at me, and leaves. The manager looks at me and says, Can you work your magic hands over his trousers? Oh. He's thinking of me topless, in a hot oh. tub, but Screw with your boss. And some other things I'd rather not remember. Knowing people's thoughts eats your soul. Man, you don't sound like you're having a good life, Ed's trousers Elizabeth. Have stain. Keep up, Doctor. Anyway, I take it round back to start working on it. And that's when I see her. Nisha. Like a ragdoll in a hurricane. Oh, Just that's... Just spinning inside this big machine. Her face smashing against glass and metal. Blood pouring out of every opening. Oh my goodness. She's a mess. I'm gonna say this is the first chapter to like actually kinda get some good scary elements Do you going. See any jewelry? A ring, maybe. Yes. A ring. Good. That was a good sequence. I need you to get it for me. Do you understand? I understand. Well, this is fascinating, August. We'll be back with more of Monroe's past life in just a moment. What's going on? I'm helping Ellis uncover her past. Why does she need to get this ring? Oh, it's just a technique I use. I think you should bring her back now. It would be dangerous at this point. Then do it at whatever point it won't be. Quiet. I'm trying to concentrate.
Got a blast. Sharon's in a psychiatric hospital now. They arrested Sharon for Misha's murder. Sentenced to 18 years. One for each of Nisha's. Is that enough? Mm -hmm. Maybe murder should be punishable by death. Well, that's controversial, Elizabeth. You think people can change? Maybe. Maybe I can change. I watched the trial from the gallery. Mm. Not many people made eye contact with me, but Sharon did. She wanted to die. Really die. I don't think she killed Misha. Sharon's defense. She said Jared killed Misha. The umbrella man. The umbrella man. I did see Sharon once after the trial. She didn't talk. But in her head, all I could see was Nisha going round and round. Her mind was literally stuck like a broken record. I'm actually getting, like, rather, Jared like, tied into man. this. This this is a good sequence. A nickname. We were on a works do and it started raining and then Jared pulls out this tiny umbrella out of nowhere and then gets handsy with any girl stupid enough to duck under it. Hence, Umbrella Man. Sharon's fingerprints were all over the machines. And her husband was having sex with Nisha. Oh. That's all the jury needed. Nobody saw her do it though. She just didn't have a good enough lawyer. People with money get away with murder all the time, though. Don't That's you? right. Yes. Is there anything rich people can't buy? Nisha worked for Sharon as a housemaid. That's how she met the husband. It's so cliche. Nisha was desperate for money, and he was desperate for attention. I never told anyone this, but... Nisha charged Sharon's husband for sex. I mean, no. she said she would have done it anyway, but since there was a chance of getting paid... That really shakes it up. I don't think Sharon knew. Would you pay someone to have sex with you, Doctor? Probably not. People pay people to have sex with them all the time. Just not with money. Hey, I'm would the one asking questions love, here. Or opportunity, time, companionship, or orgasms. Nisha was good at cleaning. Hmm. What can I say? Often I'd go to the back of the machines to hoover the lint trays out, and Nisha was there with Jared, hoovering away already. Okay, so that's that. Washing machine. Elizabeth is feeling uncomfortable. They closed down the store for a while so the real cleaners could come in. They got rid of all the blood. It wasn't just blood. Her skull would split open and was... Oh. Grating against the metal drum. I remember there was one. Some of her teeth. It was one of like the FBI Sorry, crime doctor. scene involved, and there was like what did you a murder know? at this military academy. And I was like, oh, yeah, they killed this one kid by putting him into a uh, washing machine. And I'm like, oh, they just arrested the commanding officer who was allowing it just as he was about to put another kid in. Sharon's I don't know why, I remember that episode. Actually, hers and Nisha's. 
The police thought she'd struggled against the machine trying to fight Sharon. Nobody heard anything though. But for chloroethylene, it's what yeah. they use in dry cleaning machines. But Nisha didn't drown. The spin cycle broke her spinal cord. Oh. So she was paralyzed for a few minutes while her face smashed into everything. I feel like kind of the thing, if you get this sort of thing you gotta do, you have to like press yourself up against the edge as best you can. Yeah. Dry cleaning machines have huge locks. There's no way of shutting yourself in. You really have to get a friend to help. Or manager. Mm. Nisha yeah. kissed me once, so... Monroe is a lesbian That's even that. in their past life. Oh no! Why would you do that, Elizabeth? We were in the machine room. She said she'd got something in her eye, and would I take a look? Oh, okay. Wasn't consensual. So okay. That's fine. Her irises were lovely. What is it? And big. Dilated. And while I was looking, she just... kissed me. But her mind... It was beautiful. Shimmering. And then when she kissed me, it, it all fell away. All that was left was shame, fear, repulsion. Yeah, that, that, that's kind of what happens when you unconsensually so kiss her. someone. What did Nisha think about? <sighs> Nisha thought about Jared. A lot. She hated him, but she also wanted to sleep with him at the same time. It's pretty common. It, I'm sure there's is an it, interesting scientific term for it. Is it that common, Elizabeth? Yeah. Angry sex. All anger sex. I'd probably take either right now. Nisha was asking for it, wasn't she? I mean, if your partner's cheating on you, you murder their fling, right? No, I feel, I feel like you murder the partner. Exactly. She'd have killed her husband for sure. Why stop Exactly. Fishing? It doesn't make any sense. Because the lover may not be in the know that they're the other person. I think killed the partner. Jared killed Nisha. I told you about the Umbrella Man. She hated him. But in a lady doth protest too much kind of way. Maybe he killed her. I saw Nisha's body in the machine. Her eyes were still open, crying blood. But I looked into them and there was peace. Nothing else. Just peace. Mm -hmm. Coffee. I'm allergic to nuts. This is definitely normal milk. Banana? Mm, I don't like these options. Banana or smiley face? I don't... Banana? It's banana milk. Okay, then. What's happening? I almost forgot about this main part of the game. Monroe.
Go to her. Clown! Clown! Why isn't it working? She's distracted. Her past self is dying. Wake up! Monroe! Oh, Alice! So it did have nuts. Anything happens to her. Man, that's how you it's die. Really you accidentally eat nuts in a uh, down, during a psychiatric appointment. That's how the past life died. How can I go in after her? I'd have to get in her brain. I'm very good at what I do. Oh wow, really? Can we just spend the game with the little Elizabeth? Sweet. That was. I'd be fine just have a whole game of interrogating That's Elizabeth. That was a good section. If you zip through the stars, you'll find candy bars and a kid with a neck for adventure. Umbrella man. Jared. Jared. The Umbrella Man. David. He's weird. Like a spider. Sharon ducked under his umbrella that time, and his hands slid around her body and mm. kind of rested under her breast. Everyone knew he was touching it, and Sharon just gave a weak smile and wriggled away. Oh no, Sharon. I tried to read his mind, but... It was like a stereogram. His facial expression didn't change. Nothing. It was like he was wrapping his arms around his prey. Yeah. He didn't seem to be particularly enjoying touching her breast, just the science. Hmm. Jared's mind was a mess of colored dots that didn't make any sense. I never knew what he was thinking. Ever. There's only one other person I know that's like that. Who? Yep. Dr. Decker. His mind's also Dr. Mushed. Decker? I actually came here today to tell him that I don't want any more sessions. He creeps me out. Mm. Jared quit after the murder. Well, so did I, to be fair. Well, I've kind of quit everything now. You can't just think of a question mark. If you've got a question, let me have it. People get like this, flustered when I can read their mind. Cat, I agree. This is honestly a pretty fun conversation. I already said that Jared killed Nisha. Or... Something did. Something? Ooh. Do you... Believe in the supernatural? Yes. Jared killed Nisha. I don't think I'm safe here. I saw it happen. I also I, I like the, the framing of this scene where it keeps you at her eye happen. level to really get Jared that Nisha. eye contact cross. They were kissing. Mm -hmm. And then she opened the door to the machine. She just got in. And Jared he shut it. He didn't have fingers. He had I can't. You have tentacles? And the kiss. His tongue. It was... It was a giant worm. And it just slithered from his mouth into hers. I tried to catch Nisha's eye. But it wasn't her. It took her own oh. so quickly. It's thoughts. I've seen. Doctor, Doctor I'm sorry, I need, I need to, to go. go. 
I'm being raped. Oh. oh. Sorry. I don't know what I'm saying. Oh. Sorry. Oh. I want her to just start stealing their stuff. They're both knocked out. Like, start pocketing their cameras and tablets and in stuff. In an hour, you'll wake. As if from some deep sleep. And I'll be gone. Yeah, start stealing their stuff. Yes. New favorite character. That should cover it. I'll see myself out. Nice. That's fun. Something mysterious is going to happen and wallets are going to be there. Dr. Oh. Decker. On that note, here's a message from our sponsor that you're sure to enjoy. The police that are is. Baratsky. It's a shame she didn't stick around. Was she even licensed? She came highly recommended. From who? Herself, when she knocked on the door yesterday morning. You were oh a my god. To take over my oh! Body. I didn't know what she was going to do. What do I keep saying? So Poe wants them to get killed. I can't even tell our listeners. We were robbed. She literally took my wallet and your purse. I know. That was everything I had. And that wasn't all she took. What else is gone? My adoption papers. What? My adoption papers are missing. I didn't know you were adopted. Well, I am. I'm not ashamed to say it. Sorry, hmm. boy. I wasn't suggesting that. It's unsettling when someone takes something so personal. Just who does she think she is? A past lives travel agent who robbed us whilst we were dreaming. But it wasn't a dream. You were there. You and me. Yes, just like Wizard of Oz. Maybe the reason the people looked familiar is because you made it all We up did yourself. not see Poe at all. So, are we dreaming now or is this real? Can't tell anymore. Want me to give you a squeeze? Oh my god, no, Poe. How can you be so sure? Because in my dreams you're much more of a charmer. And Just richer, don't I dream think. about Poe. Too soon, Poe. Too soon. I still think we need to get Poe Next murdered. time on Dark Nights with Poe and Monroe. You're live on air, line one. There was an animal in the road, howling like a wolf. He said it was a hairy animal. The size of a man. And the moon was full. We're going werewolf hunting. I'm Casper Light. You have to stay away from Wolf Lane. Okay. I'm sorry. You have no idea what's at stake. Dark Knights. With Poe and Monroe. Mm -hmm. I will say that this was definitely the best chapter so far. I really enjoyed the conversation with Elizabeth. That was very well shot, very well constructed, very well acted. Um... Once again, I'm not sure what these choices actually, what these decisions actually affect, if they affect anything. Like, you know, you thought of ways. What did, what did that affect in the grand scheme of things? You know? It's like, that, that is something I would like a little more clarity on, if anything, if at all anything's being affected. Um... Yeah. Very interesting indeed. So what we're going to do, we're going to take a brief intermission. And I think when we're going to come back, we're going to switch over to a different game. So stay tuned. Ha ha ha.